So hi, uh, here is a short description about the accessory respiratory organs known as the ARO. So ARO is developed to meet extra demand for the oxygen as depletion of the oxygen occurs during summer. So primary function of the ARO is the absorption of what of oxygen as a gill excrete most of the CO2. So several types of the ARO. Uh, first one is the skin through the integument. In some fishes, the skin is highly vascular and serves for the exchange of gases as in frog when the fish is out of the water. During the period of the migration, the moist skin serves as an important organ in respiration. Examples are the L, Amphionus, Cuchia, Periophthalmus, and Bolyophthalmus, together called as the Mertz keepers. Second one is the Buccopharyngeal epithelium. So, as the name suggests, the uh, bu uh, buccal cavity uh, and the pharyngeal epithelium act as a vascular and permeable to gases, to water. So, next one is the gut epithelium in which the gut uh, wall lining modified to form the respiratory functions. Examples are the lep uh, lepidocephalus, guntia, uh, gobitus, mesgarus, fossilis. Next one is the pelvic fence in lepidocyron, that is American lungfish. During breeding time, the pelvic fence of male become enlarged and grow filamentous vascular outgrowth which provide fresh oxygen to the guarded eggs. Next one is the pharyngeal diverticula. It is a pair of a simple sac-like outgrowth of the pharynx and lined by the thickened um, vascular epithelium extending above the gills. Examples are the chenna, amphenos, cuchia, and periophthalmus. So in the opercular chamber, air is well developed and examples are the mud keepers. Branchial diverticula, outgrowth of the from gills chamber from um, form more complicated aerial ARO than the simpler pharyngeal outgrowth in other fishes. Examples are the sacrobranchus uh, climbing perch, no, also known as the Anabas testudineus, Clarius betrachus, uh, catfishes. So the air enters the operacular uh, cavity and it is directly into the subbranchial, suprabranchial chamber by the action of the two fans on the gill arches. So air bladder, also known as the swim bladder, and it acts as a hydrostatic organ in is higher teleost and through ARO is lower teleost. So it acts as a it act like a lung to breathe air. The wall of the bladder is vascular and circulated with the alveoli. Examples are the Australian lungfish, also known as Neoceratodus. African lungfish, Protopterus, and the American lungfish, also known as the Lepidosiren. So, uh, here is a picture of the Cuchia ill, Amphenius Cuchia, Channa punctatus, also known as the Ophiocephalus. Anabas testudineus uh, contains the labyrinthine organs. It is a extension of the branchial outgrowth. Clarius bretrachus, in which the arborescent organs, uh, fan shaped gill like structure filament are present, uh, and the ARO in the teleost phase, sacobranchus, in which the gill chamber are in the form of the tubular air sac. So, all of these uh, about the accessory respiratory organs. Thank you.